Flank steak is an underrated steak from the underbelly of the steer, rich and meaty with a merciful price to match. Today, I'll marinate it in red wine, grill it with wood smoke, and slice it across the grain for maximum tenderness. This is a two pound flank steak. Your first step is to trim off some of this excess fat Flank steak, like skirt steak and other belly steaks, tend to be very fibrous, so you need to take measures to tenderize them. And one is to score the steak, which cut those long, stringy meat fibers. So I'll come across the top like this, spacing my cuts about a quarter of an inch apart and an eighth inch deep. This will also help foster the absorption of the marinade. Now once you score in one direction, I'll come across score in the next direction, turn the steak over, and you'll score the bottom the same way. Great. Now for the marinade. So spread the bottom of a baking dish with thinly sliced shallots, and you'll want to smash a couple of cloves of garlic. Spread the garlic over the bottom of the baking dish some fresh thyme. Then lay the flank steak on top. Spread the top with the remaining sliced shallots and more smashed garlic. And arrange the remaining thyme on top. Now, drizzle the flank steak with extra virgin olive oil and cover it with wine. I'm using a Pinot Noir from right here in the Santa Inez Valley. Cover the flank steak with plastic wrap and marinate it in the refrigerator for at least four hours or as long as overnight. Here's the flank steak. It's marinated for four hours. What you want to do is just push the shallots and thyme off to one side. You can see the meat itself has taken on this lovely purple color. So now I'll grab the flank steak and you want to drain it well and then lay it on a sheet pan with a wire rack to drain. Meanwhile, strain the marinade into a glass bowl. And I'll just pull out these thyme stalks. Now for the sauce. Add one tablespoon of butter. Next, add diced bacon for a smoke flavor. And cook the bacon until it starts to brown. Now, blot the sliced shallots and garlic dry. Then add them to the bacon butter mixture. Once the shallots are brown, add thinly sliced mushrooms. You want to cook the mushrooms until they're browned. To ready the steak for grilling, you want to blot it dry, the paper towel. Uh, you never want to put a wet steak on a grill because it will stew instead of sear. Turn it over and blot dry on the other side. Now, brush the steak with extra virgin olive oil. And season with coarse salt. And add freshly ground black pepper. Now we'll turn the flank steak over and we'll oil and season the other side the same way. Now you're ready for grilling. To grill the flank steak, I'm using a pit barrel cooker, and this is a pit barrel junior. It's fueled with charcoal, and I added wood chunks to generate a smoke flavor. And the cool thing about the smoker, you actually grill the steak covered to hold in the smoke and heat. 
Meanwhile, I'll finish the sauce. Now, once the mushrooms are browned, add the reserved wine from the marinade. I'm gonna bring this mixture to a boil, scraping the bottom of the pan to release all those caramelized shallot and mushroom juices. Once you've reduced the wine and concentrated the flavor, dissolve a little cornstarch in about a tablespoon of water, and you just wanna stir this mixture. I'll use this to help thicken up the sauce. There we go. And last of all, a couple more tablespoons of butter, and of course, a generous pinch of salt and freshly ground black pepper. All right, we'll just whisk this to incorporate the butter. When you start to see the blood and juices beat up on the surface, it's time to turn the flank steak. Yeah, baby. I'll just recover the grill. Cooking time, three to four minutes per side, six to eight minutes and all. Looks pretty amazing, huh? You can see we have a beautiful sear on the flank steak. Give it the old poke test, gently yielding. That's medium rare, just where I want it. So I'll transfer to a wire rack. You never wanna cut into a steak hot off the grill. Let it rest for a few minutes. The juices will redistribute. Meanwhile, I have a little surprise for you. I have roasted a series of kebabs we have onion and bacon kebabs, potato and bacon kebabs, roasted shishito peppers, and roasted mini bell peppers. Thinly slice the flank steak across the grain. By slicing it across the grain, you shorten the length of the muscle fibers, thereby making it more tender. Arrange a few slices of the flank steak. And now a few grilled vegetables. Shishito pepper, chunk of bacon, a couple of potatoes, and finally the red wine mushroom bacon sauce. And some chopped fresh chives. And there's your wine marinated flank steak. I'll just cut a taste here. Mm. That steak is crusty and smoky on the outside, tender and rare inside. I'm loving this mushroom bacon sauce. In fact, there's just one thing missing, a glass of Pinot Noir. So now you know the secret of a wine-marinated grilled flank steak. Cheers. <laughs>